to the Honorable Chris V. Ray, the Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated's Board of Directors, and the men of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Welcome to my home state of Texas. I am Danette Anthony Reed, International President and CEO of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. For over 109 years, your legacy has a proven track record of providing a culture for service and service for humanity. Under the leadership of the Honorable Chris B. Ray, your focus on advocacy issues, community service, and engaging our community shows your commitment to improving the lives of the people you touch. Your 2023 Conclave theme is Believe in Our Power, Leading the Movement. Well, let's remove the believe and change it to you are in power, leading the movement, because you have touched many lives by providing 363,000 service hours yearly, 1.2 million in student scholarships, and over 4.9 million annually to promote and support black owned businesses, which shows that it's not a dream to believe, but a reality. You are in power and leading the movement. So again, on behalf of the 350,000 members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, congratulations on a successful 2023 conclave. Good evening. I am Elsie Cook Holmes, National President and Chair of the National Board of Directors of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. To my brother in leadership, International President Chris V. Ray, the other brothers, distinguished guests, friends, and family of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, I am elated to bring greetings on behalf of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, a sisterhood of over 350,000 initiated members and over 1,050 chapters chartered worldwide. And I greet you not only in the name of Delta, but in the name and memory of my favorite Sigma man, my father. Thank you, my SARS of Delta Sigma Theta, who are joining me this evening to spread a little crimson and cream in this royal blue and white sea. Your conclave theme, Believe in Our Power, Leading the Movement, captures the sentiment of all we need to do to serve our communities. We need to believe in our collective power and lead the movement to empower our respective organizations for the battles that lie ahead. As your mantra states, we must empower generations to believe in advocacy, community engagement, and service, and we must do so together across your fraternity and the entire D9 family. Brother Ray, I commend you for your fearless leadership over the past two years as you've taken Phi Beta Sigma to new heights. And my brothers, we salute your commitment to service over the past 109 years. Thank you for your steadfastness, determination, and direct action on all fronts. Brother Ray and all of my brothers of the blue and white, best wishes to each of you for a successful and rewarding conclave. <music> Greetings, I'm Dr. Sean D. Housen Sr. On behalf of the men of Iota Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated, our board of directors, and our honorable founder, Lonnie C. Sproles Jr., we welcome you all to Houston. Your organization has been a pinnacle force in many communities. You all live up to your mantra of empowering generations of men to believe in advocacy, community service, and engagement. To your honorable international president, Brother Chris Ray, Keep leading by empowering your members to be great community leaders and messengers to our cities. The men of IOTA will be proud to partner with you all to keep fighting the good fight for justice in our communities and coaching men on how to be leaders in their communities and professional lives. Have an excellent conference, enjoy the city, and we look forward to partnering with you all soon. Thank you. Greetings to all, especially the good brothers of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. I am Ruben Shelton, the International President of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, and I am honored to be with you on this special occasion. Can't be with you in person, 
because we are pretty busy with our own conclave that, that starts in just a few days. I give a special shout out to my dear friend and your president, Brother Chris Ray, who has made such an indelible mark within the National Panhellenic Council and on the Divine Nine Council of Presidents. Chris has always championed critical issues we have faced as we fight the good fight for our people in the communities that we serve. And I also have to recognize your immediate past president, another good friend, Michael Crystal, a brother who showed me the ropes on the Council of Presidents when I first came on board and was always willing to lend a helping hand. And I hope you are doing well, my brother and my friend. Phi Beta Sigma has such a long distinguished history and it is impossible to overstate the accomplishments of your very impressive membership roster or the many public service initiatives you have implemented since your inception in 1914 that have greatly impacted our society. We, as members of the Divine Nine, have stood tall together, especially in light of recent events, to address the many issues of racial equality and social justice. And Kappa's love the concept of believing in our power and leading the movement. And that is certainly the mindset of Kappa and the National Panhellenic Council. And the brothers of Phi Beta Sigma have been in the forefront of that mission. So we will continue to work with you, my brothers, because we make a formidable team. I very much look forward to our future as Sigmas and Kappas stand shoulder to shoulder with our NPAC colleagues to ensure that we all have equal opportunity to live our best lives. So I congratulate you on 109 years of dedicated service to society. And I commit that you will always have a strong and loyal ally in Kappa Alpha Psi. Have a wonderful meeting in Houston, and may God bless you all. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ricky Lewis, Grand Bosses of Omega Sci Fi Fraternity Incorporated. And on behalf of 200,000 Omega men in 17 countries and on four continents, and our Supreme Council, we say congratulations to the men of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated on your Grand Conclave in Houston, Texas. Our Honorable President Ray, we say thank you for your service, thank you for your leadership, uh, thank you for working with all of us on the Council of Presidents to try to make a difference in the lives of people in our communities. I wish we wish you a most productive Grand Conclave as you take care of the business of Sigma, but we thank you for your service. We thank you for your commitment to helping young men in our mentoring programs around the country. Thank you for all you do. We appreciate you all you do. We ask him for traveling grace and mercy that you get back home and find your families in a peaceful place. God bless Phi Beta Sigma. God bless President Ray. God bless everything that you do as you impact the lives of young people in our communities. Have a safe trip back home. Have a great grand conclave. Long live Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Hi, I am Rashida S. Liberty, the International Grand Basilisk of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated. I want to celebrate the men of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated on your national convention in Houston, Texas, my town. I want to also give a special shout out to Brother Christopher Ray, your national president. We go way back to when we were vice presidents of our respective organizations. I have witnessed the sacrifice the travel, the conversations, the strategies that we've all put into work in our respective organizations. As a sisterhood founded by seven remarkable educators, I want to commend you for what you have done in the area of providing $1.2 million in scholarship opportunities for young people and their communities. We celebrate you as Sigma Gamma Rho women are about being greater and greater starts with education. We all know the power of the Divine Nine and the collective, and I'm proud to be the chair of the Council of Presidents. Together with the men of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, the women of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, and all the seven other organizations, we are stronger together. Now you know the men of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated have a special place in my heart because my sweetheart, my husband, is a proud member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, and my son is a proud member of the Sigma Beta Club. 
to the men of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. I look forward to seeing you in Houston, Texas as you celebrate your national convention. Brother Chris Ray, I celebrate you today. And yes, I said brother, although I know you're constitutionally bound to the finer women of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, but you my brother today, and I celebrate you. Greetings, I'm Dr. Willis L. Lonzo III, General President of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, and it is my pleasure to extend greetings to the men of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated on the occasion of your international conclave in Houston, Texas. Congratulations to International President Attorney Chris V. Ray, the leadership, and members of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. On behalf of the men of Alpha Phi Alpha, I remind you that we stand in solidarity with the men of Sigma as you continue to elevate your communities where you live. In honor of the great work that you've done, we as the men of Alpha Phi Alpha are making a $10,000 donation to the PBS National Foundation. This donation is given in the spirit of brotherhood between our fraternities and to ensure that the message that the men of Phi Beta Sigma carry every day will continue to reach the people, not only of the United States, but across the world. Congratulations, and we look forward to continuing to partner with the men of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. Greetings to the distinguished dais, the Phi Beta Sigma executive leadership, brothers of Phi Beta Sigma, the divine nine who have joined us today for this public meeting, and President Chris V. Ray, JD. Good evening. Sigma truly has a proud history of accomplishment, famous leaders, famous politicians, and a future vision that will continue to make the founders proud. Phi Beta Sigma has a deep roots in NPHC as several Sigma men have served as national president. Attorney George W. Lawrence, sixth national president. Reverend Julius Simmons Sr., 14th national president. Dr. Alvin J. McNeil, MPHC 16th National President, Charles B. Wright, the 23rd National President, Dr. Gilbert Francis, who I've personally had many meetings with at over the years at national conferences. He was our 27th National President, and Carter B. Womack, MPHC's 28th National President, who served two terms as a Phi Beta Sigma National President. Have fun and fellowship with us. Just take the day off on Monday after the conference because you will need a day to rest when you get back home. Follow us on NPHCHQ. Enjoy Houston, my brothers. Thank you.